Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We got another commentary track for you. Chief, would you explain to the people what they're watching tonight? I certainly would, Spin. It's uh, Strike Commando from uh, 1987, uh, starring Red Brown, one of our all-time How many Red Brown movies have we done? So it's far? only the second Red Brown movie so, we've done yet. Oh, there's there's many more to come, there's everyone. Many. But uh, the, the, the the description here on YouTube, and we'll have the link to this in uh, the description of this uh, track, but the, to this very one, so you can stay on with us. Because I've noticed there's drift. If you get a different version, sometimes there's drift, and you'll miss the you'll get off track. So try to use the same one we do. Uh, while operating behind enemy lines, Sergeant Mike Ransom learns of a Russian presence in North Vietnam. Ordered to obtain proof of this discovery, Ransom returns to enemy territory, but is captured and subjected to a variety of tortures. Eventually, he escapes to continue his mission. Hold on, I got to show more. Despite being hampered by a traitor in his own ranks. So uh, basically, it's Rambo. Uh, a little bit of Rambo, a little bit of First Blood, a lot of Red Brown. Uh, uh, very, everything you want from Red Brown, uh, as far as I've, I've watched this a few times. And uh, this is one of those, those great, <laughs> this is one of those great, bizarre Red Brown movie roles. So what you want to do is you want to go down to the description of this track. You want to find the link to the video, which is there. You're going to want to go to that link. You're going to want to zero it out. That way you can start right along with us. The movie's going to start very quickly. So when you all are ready, Chief, are you ready? I'm ready. In three, two, one, click. Fireworks. Dun, 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 dun. This music is like, yeah, Zen. Zen music. Avatar Pictures. All right. Let's linger on that for a minute. Oh, Red. <laughs> he's, he's cutting uh, steel chain link with little, like, home wire cutters. I've actually done that stuff. So. <laughs> Come on, they won't keep us out of the school gymnasium. We got to go in there and get ready for senior <laughs> prank day. I'm sure they're, they're not hearing the fence jingle around while they've got round the clock guards. Hey, look, I twisted mine into a little baby giraffe. <laughs> Make an origami. Has that dude got a crossbow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, who are those guys outside the fence? Hey, there they are. <laughs> That's what he said. All right. Then open it up a notch. Hey, y'all smell that? <laughs> Private Jimi Hendrix, take point. Ah, he said it. He said the name of the movie. Hey, worked it in. Oh my God, J.J. Abrams lens flare. Come on. Yeah, this thing ain't nearly big enough for us to get through yet. <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing over there? All right, so the dude, the dude doesn't notice a big hole in his fucking fence. <laughs> or three guys laying on the ground right in the spotlight. Oh, oh, we saw you. Up, uh oh. You guys are the worst strike commandos ever. This is the worst game of red light, green light ever. <laughs> it was Yosemite Sam set up. Is that, is that Eric Roberts? No, that ain't no, Eric. no, no, no. It looks like Eric Roberts now. Yeah, yeah now. Uh, like like Eric like Roberts was... Maybe 25 at this point. <laughs> they listening to Wing? <laughs> Who wasn't listening to Wing? Oh, I rock it. Hey, you, hey, is that the new Wing album? Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? It's highway to Hell on the next side. Damn, man, raising a barn. Don't even close the door. And just let the guy open the door for him and didn't know he was there. 
hey you guys what are you doing over there luckily he we didn't he didn't see us because he was blinded by his lighter flare no one saw this giant blonde pink hunk of meat over here against the wall Oh, oh, that's just Red Brown. That's okay. just oh, Red. Oh, oh, oh Red. I gave you a pass, man. What happened? Worst war ever. <laughs> oh, 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 almost got caught. Oh, get back here. Guy didn't yell or anything. It'll be so funny. They're going to try to walk in here and they're going to trip. Peekaboo. That is not a word in Scrabble. Get the really? dictionary. Is this really the best way to do this? Now there's at least another guy who knows... What was the point of the crossbow if you were just going to do this? <laughs> he was Captain America. That's right. That was a fast minute. Oh, oh, you did. <laughs> you guys are the worst. I love that noise, though. <laughs> I'm sure it was that loud from down there. I have one job. It's to blow this whistle, and damn it, I'm going to blow it. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go! <laughs> you blew it. I really want to kill your men. <laughs> Rev made it out of there somehow. The question is, what depot was this? Because they're blowing up like office buildings. <laughs> Didn't look like a depot to me. They had that much C4 of them? It's a lot of C4. <laughs> Blew every building up five times over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Classic. It's not a red brown movie unless he screams. Oh, oh, he just got hit full force in the back with a rocket. Oh man, he just got hit with that blast. He's gonna turn into the Incredible Hulk now. <laughs> Wait, let's make sure they're all dead. I wonder who the real strike commandos are. <laughs> It's kind of the point, wasn't it? <laughs> he he cut a full minute out of there. Well, to be fair, that one guy got caught and shot. Yeah, that and one guy kind of fucked up the entire operation. It wasn't really that that uh, guy's fault for blowing it. He had to blow it when he had to. Yeah, Franco Guadenzi presents. Did did Reb ever do any like? American movies. <laughs> uh, well, he was in Uncommon Valor with Gene Hackman and True. the Captain America movies. True. Uh, he's in a movie called Night Claws. I'm pretty sure it's just a really low budget, but I'm sure it's American. He did a lot right. of. He, he, I think he did a lot of like uh, movies in the Philippines back through the 80s. Seems like he's done like a lot of Italian and like Philippine movies. 
Mike, a lot of these, I bet this, I would almost bet was filmed at least. When was the other one done? Uh, Robo War, was it like 88 or something? Like a year something after like that, this? yeah. What, what was that? Is that an alligator? Crocodile? Mesosaur? <laughs> the Goddamn Loch Ness Monster! <laughs> T Rex. Yeah, God, God damn it, monster. Dun, 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 Look, that wasn't James Garner. That was James Gaynor. <laughs> the knockoff James Garner. Is this Reb? Is Reb seriously uh, face down in the water all this time? <laughs> Story by Clyde Anderson. Good night. Good night. Uh, it's Clyde Anderson uh, saying good night. Monkey. Brown turned into a monkey. Monkey cheese. Macaque. All right. Rickety bridge across a little rickety bridge. Seriously, if Red's been submerged that long, yeah, I'm absolutely. <laughs> Like there just happens to be troops patrolling right where he's floating dead by. <laughs> what? what are we looking at here, movie? Vincent the underside Don. of a bridge? Isn't Vincent Don Bruno Mattei? Isn't that his other name? Oh, I have no clue. I think so. So the uh, Robo Wars, so he must have been working with Mate Bruno Matela. Oh, I caught something. Caught a red brown. Oh, he <laughs> seriously, he's been underwater the whole time. Oh, been holding my breath for three days. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Saki. <laughs> oh, great. It is the last samurai. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he wakes up the same way Gene Wilder did in Blazing Saddles. It's like uh, Thunderdome. America! Fuck yeah! We have no intelligence. We have lost intelligence. <laughs> USA! USA! <laughs> MAGA! <laughs> this, is the, this is the unknown Donald Trump tribe that nobody knows about. That's right. I was in. I was there. Me and Reb. It was great. It was huge. It was so huge. It's a mysterious tribe that they found that worships Donald Trump. Build the wall. <laughs> <laughs> they just. They just scream Donald Trump catchphrases. What? Oh, uh, what? Are the you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you all. Was he French Jack Elam? When am I going to hit puberty? Did he or did he not just go into a place and cut people's throats from behind? And stab people in the and like turn their back on him. That was one of those soldiers I thought that he was just killing freely a while ago. This movie just basically said, You're American, kill everybody, <laughs> kill all of our enemies. 
Damn American. We'll never get that wall now. Sorry, French Jack Elam. He founded the violence. A drop I'm not of old what? enough to drink yet. <laughs> Wait a minute. It what is Trump's is America. <laughs> what year is this supposed to be? <laughs> it's like looking into the future and the past. Is this supposed to be during the Vietnam War? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, Russian North Vietnam. Yeah, it's a, it's, that's not a Vietnam era haircut. <laughs> Well, yeah. Okay, let's all swap guns. <laughs> hey, give me that old one. Give me that AK. And so Willow Offgood set off with the Daikini baby. <laughs> As Billy Barty waved goodbye. Willow Offgood. All right, come on, everybody. Walk through this rice paddy with me. Come on, be quiet, though. You got to be quiet. We're going to walk right through here. Quit drinking, old man. Let's go. Come on. Keep moving, go, let's go! Whoa. Watch the polls, boys. Come on. Everybody stay together. Now, on your left, you'll see the natural foliage of the forest. <laughs> and on your right, you'll see more of the natural foliage. Stay with the tour group. We don't want to lose anybody. Look, a tree frog. Rev's just arming up the children. So when is he um when is he uh entering enemy territory and captured and subjected to a variety of tortures? Uh, it's coming. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I haven't missed it. Ah <laughs> wait a minute. Am I doing robo war? What is this? Yep, 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 yep. Uh, the good commercial for that radio company. What is it, Jimi Hendrix? I'm telling you, that's like Eric Roberts went back in time to film this movie. Look at him. <laughs> Wait a minute, that dude's a porn star. Sad Eagle. Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, the rest of the Archangels. <laughs> they demand justice. Get me the Winchester brothers. And Negan. <laughs> oh, we don't even want to go into that new news story. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I'm looking for anything modern that's not of the Vietnam era. You know, just a little while ago, Vincent D'Onofrio shot himself in a bathroom with, uh, you know, a full metal jacket. That's true. Around the same time. Before that, he shot Arlie Ermey. I'm going to do my best Flint from G.I. Joe impersonation. <laughs> Duke, we've got a problem. <laughs> it's Cobra. Our agent spotted wild weasel in the area. 
That and the Zartan and the Dreadnoughts are in the swamp. <laughs> Somebody get Sergeant Slaughter on the phone. All right, you pukes. <laughs> That's it. We're sending in William Refrigerator Perry. <laughs> I'm going to crawl around with the Viet Cong. And Donkey Kong, too. And King Kong. Donkey Kong Jr. Fuck, we're in Kong country. And Tommy Chong. Telling you, that dude's a porn star. <laughs> what was that look? I'm a tough guy, see? What if I brought in the Marines? Could somebody touch him from the Marines? <laughs> what about the Navy? What about the SEALs? SEALs are pretty tough, right? Yeah. What about, what about Force Recon? What about Superman? Superman touch Red Brown. <laughs> Red Brown, tell me where Superman touched you. Oh, my ass. Oh. <laughs> that guy's a dead ringer for Jack Elam. I keep hammering that point, but I can't help it every time I see him. Either that or Master it's Roshi. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, we must find the Dragon Balls. <laughs> you can make a wish. You just got to give me your peonies. <laughs> hey, Krillin! Hey, Krillin! Disneyland. You'll never see it. Disneyland does not have ice cream growing on trees. Quit lying to the little boy. You gotta pay like five dollars. <laughs> ice cream at Disneyland is like six dollars. Quit fucking around. Reps cracking. No, I'm sorry. All right, when is, when is Reb and her going to get together? <laughs> you know it's going to happen, right? At least she has more lines than the blonde in Robo Wars. That's true. Yeah. Why is that kid wearing a Hooters outfit? So why did you tell him good night in the middle of the day? <laughs> we all sleep in the afternoon. That's right. Oh, see, America has this adoption program. Can I call you I Daddy <laughs> Reb? <laughs> he didn't fool him. Kid asked him about Disneyland. And he and he still fooled him. He said it was like ice cream growing on trees. It's bumpkiss. He totally lied. Stark you shoot, footage, Freddy. You shoot women and children sometimes. Now I just want to watch Full Metal Jacket. I love that movie. Hey, Goku, do you think the Dragon Balls are this way? <laughs> oh, no, look, watch out. It might be Piccolo. Oh, it oh. is King Piccolo. <laughs> All right, three more run up there. <laughs> three more. Oh, four more. There, oh, okay, there's seven guys dead now. All right, try two more. See what happens. Jeez, how many helicopters they have? I'm looking for him. He's America's greatest fighter, Chief. We must find Red Brown. <laughs> All the stock footage is interfering with the radio, sir. Somehow, I'm honestly thinking they just shot this back to back with Robo Wars. It's the exact I, same I, area. I, honestly, yeah, I was thinking the same thing <laughs> because it's like they're a year apart and it's the same director. I'm almost positive. That's where the the the, the, the like the medic guy got killed in Robo Wars. <laughs> oh wait a minute, Reb is Reb is taking off his shirt. Look at that! Look at that! That is a physique. <laughs> All right. What a weird, what a weird glance between those two. That girl's like weirdos. 
Oh, she just looked back like, don't die. I want to marry you. He called that a tugboat? That's not a fucking tugboat. That's like a paddle boat. It's like the Jungle Cruise. Oh, Lau got killed. Well, no Disneyland for you, Lau. Oh, he's alive. My Hooters uniform protected me. Yeah, let's just spray bullets everywhere. Like they don't they, they shot all those guys on the shoreline. They don't notice this big pink Sasquatch crammed into the water right in front of them. Yeah, I'm just gonna drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I now have the liquid courage. Call <laughs> me. Oh, fuck this shit. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Don't make me power up. Bonjour. Oh. Well, that was a devious little smart kid. Dude. He used I another like dead him. body as cover. It's, it's weird that Lau is so innocent. Like, I want to go to Disneyland. And he just fucking machine gunned three guys. It's fucking Damien. <laughs> All right, now watch. Reb. Here comes Reb. Like, why didn't he? Oh. He gave him all the time to jump off. He should have waited a couple seconds and then dropped it. Goku went to come went KO Ken on your ass. I'm gonna milk this Masaroshi thing for all it's worth. <laughs> What's that guy doing next to you, sir? Man, I could be writing all along the watchtower right now. All your base are belong to us? Yeah, all along the watchtower that Dylan saw. That wasn't Hendrix? Uh, Dylan wrote it. But Hendrix sang it, right? Yeah, he, he covered it. Yeah, that's a good one. So that's uh, most, I don't know, most, but uh, some would say uh, a superior version of All Along the Watchtower than Dylan's. Certainly superior musically. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No. Help me, Krillin. Not <laughs> I must break you. Ah, ah. Aw, now I can't make Roshi jokes anymore. My shirt! Where's my shirt? <laughs> Give me that gun! Go machine gun more people. Young child. Fucking mad. I had a lot more Master Roshi stuff to do. That's all right. He'll just wish him back with the Dragon Balls. Checking for mines. Yeah, checking for the booby trap. Any excuse to get Red Brown out of his shirt. Yeah. He's like a he's like a big baby. <laughs> the Russians. Why are you out of breath? I'm telling you, listen to this radio, it really <sighs> takes it out of me. My God. <laughs> Listen here, you no good Namby Pambies. <laughs> you ref scallions. You jack and apes.
You knuckleheads. All right, and that looks like Michael Ironside, but it's not Michael Ironside. Look at my squint, sir. I learned this squint from Clint Eastwood. Look at that guy behind him. <laughs> He's very intense. Staring at real so hard. He's controlling the knob with his mind. Where do you get all that stuff? <laughs> Phil and Salmo from Bintera just have to be walking through. I have a crush you snake. <laughs> Don't try me. Ah, get out of my way. Man, Bruno Mate doesn't like snakes. Now they're going to kick the snake in Robo War, too. <laughs> the, the tour guides at San Diego Zoo have gotten really rough. I'm telling you, they found, like, discount Eric Roberts, discount Michael Ironside, discount Vincent D'Onofrio with that dude. Literally, they just went to, like, the discount store and got all their actors. <laughs> he just gave that guy uh, maybe not necessarily uh, lethal injury and just left him there to bleed out. <laughs> I, I can't kill anyone in cold blood. <laughs> yeah, I can grab him off a trailer and strangle him to How death. How did he though. get his shirt back? Yeah, I don't know where he got all that stuff. He just had a bunch of stuff all of a sudden. Oh! <laughs> and then he runs away. <laughs> this is the part where he's like uh, like a big toddler. <laughs> got, you. <laughs> got you. Got oh, you. Got him. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Yeah. I love the spread fire. How they just like everything is just like da 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 da. -da. They don't <laughs> work that way. <laughs> he's got some Birkenstocks. The doctor says these sandals are good for my arches. Oh, fuck. Ugh. And ah. you never see oh. him change magazines, not once. Die! Oh! <laughs> Why is this Russian guy commanding these Vietnamese troops? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, you <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So to later tonight, me and the missus are gonna have this really great pot roast. Oh man, it's gonna be great. Pot roast. I, can I, I come over? I can't wait to get off my shift and go home and see my kids. Oh, I know. I hope nobody. <laughs> no, I hope no American toddler shoots me in the back. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking a phone call with those guys just walked by. I'm hiding behind a tree. <laughs> you mother. I'm nursing babies. You mother. How are you going to pick them up in the jungle in a helicopter? Run! <laughs> He's just running across that big open spot. Who is she? <laughs> All right, Ransom, we're going to need you to run across that giant open space so we can pick you up. <laughs> he coming from there. I see him. Hmm. Up, oh, mortar fire. Oh. Yeah, he's pulling <laughs> out the RPGs. rocket launchers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like nothing is hitting him. Like no only spin. red brown is have faster you ever, than explosive. Have you ever seen a real mortar blow up as being being a marine? Have you ever seen an actual mortar explode? Yeah. 
Uh, are they that blast. minimal? It's got a blast <laughs> radius. It has a blast <laughs> radius. The thing if with would... mortar file, the mo thing with mortars, mortars are more like you pop it in, you shoot it, and then you get the hell out of dodge. It's not a fixed like. It, it's yeah. not a fixed uh thing. It's for they quick... just continually drop things into. Yeah, it, yeah, it's for quick shelling, you know. So there's he would have been killed ten times over, um, is what I'm asking. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they're not. They're. Um, I mean, th all right. Like we got mortared overseas, and they couldn't hit the like the broadside of a barn. Yeah. Like literally, they. We just. We we just like roll over, put our flak jackets on. They couldn't fucking hit a sh hit shit. Would the uh, so not do, do you think that any one of those rounds in this movie, uh, if it were a real mortar, do you think he was well within the blast radius of any of those? <laughs> Some of them, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I kind of figured those look like pretty minimal explosions for the kind of firepower they were shooting at him. Well, that and they're shooting freaking RPGs at his ass. <laughs> you think they'd be a little more accurate with us? And now they're laying down the fucking the fucking uh, door guns on them. <laughs> oh, fucking just, run, they all, asshole! <laughs> they all stood in a big group, made it easy for them. Quick. How those guys get there so fast? <laughs> Where did they come from? Lift me, lift me. <laughs> Help me in. And that's the end of the movie. <laughs> Look, that should be the end of the movie right there. <laughs> that's, that's long enough. Well, it's been like two movies so far. First, he broke into a base and they blew it up. Then he escaped in the jungle and met those people who were trying to get away from that Russian. Then he just had a big climactic running to the helicopter scene. It should be over. <laughs> and now they're gonna. Now he's gonna get discharged and he's gonna go teach at a military academy. Like and now we're going game. into like the the fourth or fifth subplot here. Nervous outburst. God, I hate the beret. I'm so glad I never had to wear a beret. So glad the Marines never said, hey, we're going to go to the beret. <laughs> it, is a, it is a silly hat. Man, get out of the way. Oh, that's not like no. They would not let that guy wear a red headband like that, especially around the press. Well, Vietnam was different. Like nowadays, no, you can't wear none of that shit. Like we, we tried to get away with like uh, you know putting some stuff on, like you know, like writing stuff or stuff like that. But no, nah, we couldn't. Uh, you can't do that. Like we we tried to walk around with like the cigarettes in our in our helmets, and we couldn't do that. Russians. What? <laughs> Is that an fly insult? Faces. Did they fly faces? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Nothing. Not even close. We can ding dong ditch. <laughs> we could we could prank them. That would be great if the rest of this movie was a comedy and they just sent Reb in to prank the Vietnamese. I'm and telling you, like, it's like he just got he was just involved in mortar taking mortar fire, rocket RPGs, tons of machine gun fire. He gets out of there. His these people risk their fucking lives to get him out of there, and then he's like, I'm going back in. <laughs> I'm going right back in. Now this is going to be like the Rambo part. Just fucking napalm the shit out of it. Oh, now he's got a headband on. Well, oh, you're going to die. Yep, that guy is going to die. I can already <laughs> tell you, he is going to die. Look at the shape of his head with that headband on.
His hair. <laughs> hey, look at viewfinder. Oh, it's so hot. And that what the f the fuck? Like a the party pontoon they rented for the day. They sent me down the river to capture this colonel who had gone AWOL. Apparently he'd lost his mind. <laughs> yeah, this and he's doing like the Martin Sheen karate moves. The horror. The horror. I I don't know that that they had headphones like that. I question some of the the era of some of this equipment they're using. See, I'd question it more if you pulled out a CD instead of like a cassette tape. Hey, is that the same bridge from Robo War? <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. You know, what I, you know what I want? I want an eight track of Disco Duck. My I sister really want could, one of those. probably has it somewhere. She fucking still listens to it, like jams out. It's like her jam. I know she had the the forty five record of it. <laughs> A disco duck. <laughs> mm, this map. What is it? There's a hidden message in this map. I know it. Mordor. We have to take the ring to Mordor. <laughs> Could you imagine Red Brown as Frodo Baggin? <laughs> <laughs> come on, Sam! Come on! Samwise, come on, we gotta be quiet. Come, okay. on, come on, Samwise. I knew that dude was gonna die. It's always good to just roll up in a slow pontoon boat right up on the enemy. Oh, there's my baby, a 203 grenade launcher. Oh, my baby. He has had that gun in Robo War, I think. I think this is must be around the same it time. It doesn't work that way. Those things are made to be lobbed. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Once again, Reb the Lone Man walks through the jungle. Walks by a waterfall. Red Brown, I am happy to call my friend. He was a solitary man. There's a lot of dead people just laying around. A giant toddler thrown into extraordinary adventures. The whole village is dead. It's all your fault, Reb. Everything the Reb touches dies. Is Lao dead? Um, I think he's dying. Let's see. I know there's a reason he's got to get... It's, he gets caught here pretty soon. Oh, there's Lao there. It's got his Hooters shorts on, I think. No, wait. No, it doesn't have the tank top. <laughs> Lao wore a tank top. <laughs> That's true. Well, better start eating or the meat's going to go bad. My God, they just did like mass, like friggin' execution on all these people. Ooh, a lot of, a lot of extras just laying around. For only five dollars a day, you could be an extra in a Bruno Mattei movie. I'm only looking for one of you. I only care about one of you. I'll try not to cry. I'm not going to cry. All right. Now, why is he wearing a gun belt? He doesn't even have a gun that fires a gun belt. Oh, there's the... Oh, there they are. He doesn't even have a belt-fed gun, and he's got, like, bullets strapped all over him. Hold on. Reb is giving a dramatic performance. <laughs> oh, there's... Is that Lau there next to him? This is, like, his moment in, like, Rambo when they when they killed his, his uh, partner. There's Lau. Oh. I'm going to be late for my oh, shift. You see the extra uh, in the Hooters. background moving? The extra in the background was moving? Like D on Sunny. 
Why are you cradling him like a baby? He was killing men 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm dying, but I'm smiling. Tell me about the rapids, George. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got tricky. Got candy, chief. Got candy. Got a drink and got candy. This is Vicky Dude. There's a Mickey Mouse and a Donald Duck. This is this is a goofy. This is goofy. Here, he'll take a picture with you. The, 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 the castle. There are pirates. There's pirates in that place. The haunted pirate. house. The space mountain. The river boat ride. Safari. <laughs> he just rolled his eyes back like gurp. <laughs> <laughs> bore me, Red Brown. I would rather die than this new description of Disneyland. Now raise them over your head and go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, do y'all hear somebody say Jacoga? Hmm. Sounds like it came from over here. <laughs> yeah. It's... Hey, it, it, it's from, coming from that place where we killed all those people. Yeah, it sounds exactly like oh. where we killed all those guys. No, please don't. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's over that way. Disneyland. Guy kind of looked like the Vietnamese Paul McCartney. Oh, look. Hmm. Hmm gonna just uh, they well, don't they work that way <laughs> did they have this technology in vietnam no <laughs> Fucking hey, man. I mean, so they became steve austin the bionic man when the hell do they get the freaking the the spectroscopes from ghostbusters <laughs> i kill you american Arr! gun butt cam <laughs> it's like Quake or something. Red Brown and Doom. <laughs> it couldn't have been any worse than The Rock. Wolfenstein 3D with Red Brown. <laughs> Can I get Red Brown to play Duke Nukem? Uh, Cena's going to play Duke Nukem. You know what? I... You know what? Cena, Duke Nukem. I like it. I like it. Uh, he looks like that. Good with me. He's a somewhat competent. I mean, he's been in stuff. He can kind of act. I want to just hear. I just want to hear John Cena go, damn, that's the second time those alien bastards shot up my ride. <laughs> Jacoba! Jacoba! Are you okay. spelling it? That type of thing with that type of kickback, your arm would be dead, okay? <laughs> oh, that's where did he get that from? He didn't even have that gun a minute ago. <laughs> oh, oh missed us. Missed us. We were over there. You were shooting there, but we were over here. Got you. You know what else you got? D's nuts. Got him. We fight. Mm. Americanski. Shoves it all up my ass. Oh, never mind. Yeah, just do it. Is that Matthew Lillard? It looks like Matthew Lillard. It's not him, but it looks like him. He maybe would have been like 
five when this game. I know, but still, this like I said, this is like everybody went back in time. I don't know. He, I think uh, Matthew Lillard might actually be a couple years older than me, or you're a year older than me, or something. I'm Why not sure. Like, scoop? like I'm... I love Mary Jane. <laughs> As my voice I'm... speaks. I'm 42, so I'm not sure how old he is. Look at him, man. Look at him. It looks like Matthew Lillard. Yeah, he's actually uh, he's older than me, Matthew Lillard. He's uh, born really? in 19, 1970. He's 48. Wow. He's, uh, he's actually five years older than me. Everybody in this movie looks like somebody else to me. Yeah, you get it, man? Dude, yeah, man. I get it! <laughs> hey, you know, you don't be a traitor, you know, it's all right. It's all good. Relax. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Oh, that? are we going to get the torture scenes now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here comes All the right. torture. This is like the Rambo part. What are they? How Come did he on, behave man. like a hero? Oh, yeah, he told him to blow him up. Your time will come. Nah. Ah! Whoa, who's the blonde? Oh, she she's Ivan Drago's handler. Okay. We will find the grail, Professor Jones. Tell everybody the end of Scream, right? Light you up with this torch. Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> Why is he jerking off the microphone? Hey, uncomfortable. Cut candy. Climb a tree. <laughs> Climb a tree. Cut candy. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> The stock footage is listening intently. All right, this is actual footage of Vietnam, so. Yeah. We sent him in there with no backup. and <laughs> We sent him in there with a guy who wears nothing but headphones all the time. Damn it. And we didn't expect him to get caught. He asked for a squad and we said no. torture his ass I would talk immediately <laughs> they wouldn't even get to the ass torture I'd be like uh, yeah I'll talk sorry oh, ass torture no ow my ass oh what are you doing no please sir may I have another oh ow Peter <laughs> You will take a big shit. Ah, uh, they're just torching his back? Oh, look, they crucified him. Forgive them. They know not what they do. 
Cotton candy. Look at the popcorn and the ice cream. <laughs> Donald Duck. He's almost like Donald Trump. Oh, now that is torture. Just put your neck between the things. Yeah, they're kind of far apart, Reb. I think you do all right. Ow. 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 See, why Ow. didn't they get Reb Brown to play Guile in the Street Fighter movie? Such... <laughs> think about I it. Love that. I mean, literally, think about it. See, you could be doing push-ups <laughs> with me, but no, like... you have to watch. This is a time when video games were coming out, like all those classics were coming out, like right around this time. And it's, but like movie companies, I don't think thought there was any money in them at the time, so they didn't make movies about them really. Not until like Nintendo came along, made like The yeah. Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Reb, you wish you had vodka, don't you? You don't get vodka. Look, I spit I... vodka out. Only I drink vodka. Oh, I, I pour spit. out the vodka, one for me and one for my homies. <laughs> Don't whiz on the electric fence. Yeah, ouch. Now, any moment now, Red Brown is going to get a bunch of metal pieces and make an Iron Man suit and blow his, at, blow his way out of there. Yeah, it won't be as cool as like Tony Stark's because he's not as smart. <laughs> no, nah, it'll look more like a fire hydrant, like, like the Iron Duck. Yeah. Now, like, what, here, what is the, the purpose of just torturing these guys? Well, every here's day? the thing. <laughs> look at the cage. Okay, look at the cage. That's a bamboo cage. Now, I understand how strong bamboo is. I understand that. But Reb should be able to kick the living shit. Look at look at the look at the door. It's even yeah, a, it's even got like. It, you can squeeze through the crack in the door there. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's like get out of there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you could. Uh, I don't care how strong bamboo is. I could kick my way out of that in two seconds. Come here. Let me tell you about Disneyland. Come, come on. Here. I've done come this on, before. Get my lap. Come on. Come on. Popcorn. Popcorn. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Uh? Goofy. And when you get to Disneyland, uh, you can go to on all the rides. I don't like Disney. I prefer Six Flags. Tell me about Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> f fuck you. I only talk about Disneyland. The second guy I'll never see Disneyland. Come on, Reb. You could just like rip that door off. <laughs> so that doesn't even look like bamboo. It just like sticks. You maniacs! <laughs> you can you at least blew it all to hell. You can break those old dry vines off and just take it apart. <laughs> do you enjoy watching me work out, Ransom? Oh, I hello, know you do. <laughs> now it's just fun. Yes. Me and my cartoony villain voice. Dude, you will take over the world. Don't we, Natasha? We serve fearless leader. We must get Moose and Squirrel. Sometimes I wonder what I do with my life. Okay, that decomposition's got on pretty fast. Yeah, it's uh, well. They are in a humid jungle environment. Oh, and yeah. Bugs, bugs would be eating the shit. Look out at of that. that! There's even space at the top. Yeah, he could just crawl right through that big hole. <laughs> There's holes all over it. I'm pretty sure if you leaned against it, it would fall over. Like all he has to do is like fall into it, and it would like yeah, just take it out. Go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, you stink! Oh, you stinky boy! Yeah. You don't smell like cotton candy and popcorn. It, you're all I've got to eat, though, buddy. Sorry. <sighs> There's a like a hole right there big enough for your whole body rib. Oh, 
Okay, if she handles a razor like that, I don't want her shaving anything on me. He's He didn't come close to growing a beard the whole time he's been there, and she's going to shave him. He's already clean shaven. He's like even oiled up. Well, here's what's going to hurt even. Well, I'm about to say he's got those bruises on his face. Yeah. That would hurt. That would with a with a straight razor. That would hurt like hell. <laughs> he looks absolutely no different than he did when they brought him in there. Shut up, you. <laughs> what is he, Mo Howard? Gael versus Dalsim. Why, I gotta. Sonic Boom. Get out of here. <laughs> Punch you in the ass cheeks. Just let go. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Wait so you can get caught. Oh. Hold on. My guys are almost here to catch you. Wait. Oh, that was quite a piss. Oh, shit. I'm dead. Let me pants him real quick. Please. Ah. And, and he got a grenade again. Grab and his grenades in this movie. I don't want to be kidnapped. Oh, shit. They're going into the cave from the time machine. I found it at a yard sale. Oh, no. Come on. I got to take it to the, the Jolly Rancher mine. Menakonski ran away. Come on. Hold on. Let me see if I can hear them. Hmm. Remember like a bullhorn in the forest. You can just hear him for miles. Where's your gun, Reb, that you got off that yeah, dude? He just dropped it. How'd those oh. guys get him? What were they doing in that cave? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I got a Hoover vacuum. Oh, it shoots fire, though. Ah! God, Daddy. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. This is for Lau. Peanuts, cotton candy, Mickey Mouse, Goofy. We've got a lot of guys. Reb just keeps fucking them up, and they still keep coming. Oh, judo flip. Booyakasha. That guy just said booyakasha, I swear. <laughs> no. Come on, go, go, honey. Come on, run through the fire. No big deal. It make you stronger. Yes, it doesn't hurt. It's fire. All that matter was with you. All that scene was missing was a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> eh, how, stop dragging how is, me. How is it every movie Reb finds some woman and runs with them and drags them through a forest? It's always a blonde woman and she just gets dragged along on his crazy escapade that he's on. I wonder if that's in his contract. There must be a blonde woman that I can drag through a freaking jungle. <laughs> I have to be able to drag her running, screaming through a jungle. A cave system, preferably, as well. <laughs> that, I think Brett was legitimately startled by that guy. <laughs> and they left it in. Ah! Fancy boots he's got there. Those look a little fancier than regular military issue boots. Like, get up. Come on. Keep running. No, I want you to get caught again. <laughs> Why would I help you escape? Please, no. J 
Just give up and let us torture you more. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I love tying women to trees. Now what was really gonna suck is they're not gonna is if they didn't find her and she just like stayed out there. Yeah, and you just more or less sends her to death if they don't look for her. Oh, I thought he was going to do like a drop kick. Yeah, he is. <laughs> kind of. Oh. Was it implied that he did the drop kick or did he think he just landed on his feet and stabbed that guy? I think he just landed on the feet and stabbed him. <laughs> what a weird oh, look, way to announce your presence. Found the radio. Yep, there it is. What's incredible? What are you talking about? A carry always? <laughs> Look like him. <laughs> Just his ass, though. Mm. Yes, I'm hungry. Ah, greens. Fuck you. Kill you. Actually, I'm German. Oh, look, they're doing the scene from Lord of the Rings where they hide in the tree stump to avoid the uh, the 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 Nazgul. <laughs> Ah! Tell me how you want me. <laughs> Tell you that dude is ripped. I, I wonder what else he's been in because he he's got to have been in like some freaking fight movies. Yeah, yeah, probably a lot of bad like eighties action. Uh-oh, Reb sees you. Guess what happens when Reb sees you? <laughs> Dead, motherfucker. Let's shoot into the sky. Yeah! <laughs> bow now. Bow now. Bow now. We need one music track, track, and we'll just loop it through the whole movie. <laughs> yeah, a wet gun will really fire like that. Yep, 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 yep. He threw that underhand. There's no way if he threw that underhand, it's stuck in his chest like that. <laughs> mm, medic and kill all my men. Now I'm mad. <laughs> this is why you like watching war movies with me, because I lose my shit on everything. <laughs> Well, Reb's a lost cause. Let's get out of here.
Come on. Hey, Colonel, they're right there. Let's get them, boys. Shoot them. <laughs> oh, he's going to shoot them. Shoot Reb? Why are we shooting Reb? Yeah, hold on. All right. <laughs> she now she told him not to go out there. <laughs> he just got her killed. She said, "No, don't go. That they're, they're working with them." Now his proof of the Russians is gone. What? <laughs> like I said, every woman that comes in contact with Red Brown dies. Yeah, he's typhoid Red. He's having a gunfight with a helicopter. <laughs> he would lose, certainly lose that battle. Oh. Uh, I know you warned me not to talk to them. Uh, sorry, I got you killed. It's kind of a thing with me. Didn't get to tell you about Disneyland, though. Kind of bummed about that. Come on, I'll tell you now. Go, oh, I'll just tell you anyway. It's, uh, cotton candy. I love this. Nuts. Every time somebody dies, he has to like hold them in like this cradle. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> Cradles. <them. laughs> yeah, peanuts. Uh, Mickey Mouse, Goofy. Yeah, I got to get moving. All right, see you later. All right, bye. Now he's smiling. What is he smiling for? He sees a boat. Oh, I guess he's not smiling. <laughs> he looked like he was smiling. Da -da, da -da -da. It's the Navy. Better show them my chest. That's his it's signal. As a flag. It's as as a flag. <laughs> Look, oh, it's no. me. Oh, wait, those are Vietnamese. I probably better not signal oh, them. Oh, shit. Is he going to take the boat? Is he going to take the whole boat? <laughs> oh, Tell my... me Red's going to take the whole boat. With, like, armed this this deep. <laughs> this guy's got a pretty fancy military boat. Cuckoo. <laughs> was that was you that? or did he really say cuckoo? He really no, he did that. That was him. Oh man, he's a damn good knife thrower. That's two guys or three guys he's got so far that way. You know what I want to see? I want to see a buddy cop movie with Red Brown and Dolph Lundgren. Hey, I'm telling you, there's <laughs> there's a movie we're gonna do real soon uh called Cage with Lou Ferrigno and Red Brown. That's fantastic. <laughs> Uh oh, Reb not only took off his shirt, he took off his shoes. Is he going to try to fit down that hole? Well, it fit. It always fits. <laughs> Snob. Oh no, he's just got more bombs. Reb, if you blow up the boat, you're not going to be able to use the boat. Yeah, there's like lots of stuff you could use on that thing. Yeah, wh they got guns. You can like get away. Why are you going to blow up the boat? It'd be pretty easy to like, and just And grenades kill don't work that way. You would not have that much time to gingerly put that thing down and get off the boat before the grenade goes off. Look, he's not even, he's not done. He's just. Well, how's he going like to pull can... the goddamn pin? Yeah, exactly. How the fuck is he going to pull the pin on the goddamn grenade? If he... <laughs> why, why was he this quiet and why is he going to blow up the boat? Why doesn't he just use it now? Yeah, I'm just going to throw some grenades down there. I'm not, I'm not going to pull the pin or anything. You got to pull the pin for it to explode. If that shit explodes now, I'm going to be I'm going to be like what the, I'm done. Oh, you know it's going to explode. That's what's you the gotta purpose of it. Got to pull the pin. Look, I just throw those in there. I guess right he's coming. They're just going to He's right going to pull like, one. Yeah, oh, but right now it's it's like See, look, they're smoking. Like right now all he was doing was like throwing the Easter eggs out in the yard for the kids to find on Easter morning. <laughs> yeah, the, that doesn't make a damn bit of sense. I thought maybe he was they were gonna try to uh make us think that he could like throw one in there and it would blow the set the rest off somehow, you know. Like he'd pull the pin on one and it would yeah. explode the other ones, but 
the, apparently they're going off now. Like, <laughs> what did he say? But see, he could have like killed everybody on the boat and then commandeered the boat and got back to like his people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that just... whole thing made no him blowing up that boat that made no sense whatsoever in the entire movie. Red prefers to live out there in the jungle. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> and miraculously, he got his shirt back. He got his headband back. That guy's just like, Reb can't possibly it's time for. It is time for a final battle. Ah, come on. Boss battle time. Let's do it. I am Phil Insalvo from the band Pantera. Guile versus Zangief. Round one. Better take mine off too, then, huh? Oh, what was that? Reb, put your pinky in, please. Yeah. Reb's going to break his fingers. Is that all you got? Americanski. And the Russian with an uppercut. Red I Brown with a headbutt. They're Hello. tussling down the corner. Body blow, body blow. And here comes Hillbilly Jim with the chair. Oh, my God, he's raking the eyes. He's raking the eyes. <laughs> body blow. Ouch. Oh. Nice. Mine is nicer. You? Oh, low blow, low blow. The Americans cheat. Reb's not above it. No, that was a weird. <laughs> that was a weird shot. Sonic boom, Sonic boom, flash kick. Oh, we got me back. The Iron a Claw. Bitch. He's got the Von Eric Iron Claw. <laughs> <laughs> I make you humble, Camel Clutch. I make you. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, ow. God, I felt that. Holy <laughs> shit. Like animals. Great. Now he looks like a juggalo. <laughs> ah, man, uh, man, 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 <laughs> Flawless <Raw>! victory. Saigon's <laughs> last <laughs> days of the war. <laughs> wow. What a. What a slam cut. What a jump. <laughs> so red beating the Wait a minute. So red beating the Russian led to the fall of Saigon? Apparently, yeah, here he is. He caused it. So red Call brown. Wait a minute. So red brown single-handedly brought down Saigon. <laughs> That's what I choose to believe. That's not what they that's not what I learned in school, but I like this one better. It's just like the in the Rambo. If you want it, according to John Lennon. Was there a Strike Commando 2? Yes, but weirdly, it doesn't have a uh, Reb in it. It's a different guy. But is it like a continuation? He's looking for the dude? I, I think it is. I think it's supposed to be, yeah. We need to find that one. Even if it's not Reb, I need to... We need I, know to it's on, we, I know it's on Prime, so when we get you set up with Prime, then yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll do we'll it. We'll do that. After, after we do Devil Devil's Express. Oh, Devil's Express is going to be fantastic. That's a little sneak preview, everybody. It's it's the greatest movie ever made. I think it's my favorite movie of all time now. <laughs> it's like Black Dynamite before Black Dynamite. Oh, but oh, it's so much better because it's for real. I love how the army in the it, during this time looked like a Hollywood film like producer. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the entire uh, United States Army is looking for him and he's just in full uniform at the airport. 
No, no, that's the other guy. That's not the dude they're looking for. Oh, okay, that's not okay. I was thinking it was the other. I was thinking it was the guy that ran. But but let's 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 not sugarcoat what happened. Red Brown brought down Saigon. Yeah, it was. Yeah, well, it's, it's it's in the history books now. Revisionist history. Good to see you, Reb. Come on, Reb. Not here, Reb. Look at that ass. Oh, he says, for to get off the plane out of Vietnam, I'm going to go to a fight club. $5, $5, $6, $7, $7, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, Do I hear something? Do I hear five? Do I hear four? Do I hear you? You were there. You were there over there in the stands. You were the guy with his hands folded, looking angry. American, our savior. What is this, a rodeo? What the hell's going on here? I don't know. I thought it was like I, like a meat market or something. I don't know. I, I, I thought it was like a fight thing. Now I'm starting to think it's like a stock market. Thunderdome? It could be Thunderdome. It's got a steel cage around it, but it seems like they're trading stocks. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, it's a cockfight. Oh, it's a good old-fashioned cockfight. God, cockfights are bloody messes. No, yeah, uh, this is uh, pretty horrible. <laughs> it's kind of a horrible thing. Yeah, so anybody uh, watching this, <laughs> apologies for the cockfighting scene. If you want it. You're on your own, Ransom. Luckily, they're at least so far, they haven't shown like how bloody a cockfight actually can get. Yeah. Calling it quits. Okay, so this must lead into Strike Commando 2, I'm assuming. Oh, there oh, it is. oh he's got the yellow headband now. <laughs> I'm not in the army anymore. I'm going into that building. Hi, Red Brown. Brought a gun. Here to kill your boss. He looking like a man. Isn't she the one, uh, the one uh, Vietnamese soldier that was with him? I don't know. She's got that really long hair. He just pulled the pin. Bullshit. Two minutes. A grenade does not take two minutes to blow up. Oh wait, does he get him in this one? Oh, he must. We got like we got like six minutes left. He's got six minutes to kill the dude. Yeah. He's walked well, through town a, with all this. There's the classic. I'm gonna put the the bullets over my arm. Yeah. <laughs> he just walked right through town with all that. Oh, you a dead man. Ransom. Look at that. He's wearing like an army paint. He's wearing like his army top, but his like blue jeans and a yellow. It's like samurai red brown. <laughs> he doesn't know any of these people. He's, earlier he said, I can't kill a man in cold blood. Like some of war these guys. War changes you, dude. War. <laughs> in, in a day. Hell. Hell. <laughs> he was already in a bunch of wars. <laughs> It seemed to me he'd already done a bunch of killing and had a clear set of rules for himself. He's just breaking them now. All right, movie, you're padding it out. Just get to the end now. He's just killing everybody. He's like, <laughs> well, I've decided even secretaries get the bullet now. 
Like in today's world, this would be like he's like a crazed shooter. <laughs> right here. Yeah. This ain't the, the, today's today's world. This isn't vengeance. This is a yeah, mental. This is, this is mental health right here. Yeah, um, I'm not saying anything bad about that, by the way. Not saying anything bad about that. But well, this certainly isn't the logical solution. I mean, if you no, knew where the guy was, you could have told the authorities. But well, <laughs> he's I mean, going yeah. on a murder spree. Yep, Secretary oh. Bennett. Oh, she got one. Got a bullet for you. Bullet for you. Why are they all running right into these? And he's going to have no consequences for these actions. Oh, no. Well, maybe like a Rambo consequences or something. Like Rambo got consequences for doing his shit. He got put in jail for a while. Ransom versus Rambo. <laughs> Mike Ransom. Oh, what do you put in there? A grenade? Yep. Oh, here we go. Moment of truth. <laughs> Die! Holy shit, Rev. So, wait a minute. The door was closed. The grenade hit the door, blew, went through the door. Or how? Yeah, it went. It somehow it hit the guy directly, but passed through a door to do it. I'm just going to leave my gun here. Yeah, I don't need that anymore. Yep, I'm going home. There's a great rice place up the road. I'm going to go watch Robo Wars. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he became uh jaws ah i bite you i bite you let he me bite you bond villain <laughs> he's gonna make him bite his own tongue off we shouldn't be fighting we should be friends <laughs> oh he was still yelling after his head got blown off <laughs> he yelled Amerikonsky with no head duh <laughs> <laughs> wonderful He gave a disclaimer in the end of the movie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's that phony rip. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, who man. is uh, Jakoto? Alex, Alex uh, Vital. Vital. Jakota. Alex Vital. We'll have to look that guy up and see what else he's yeah. in. Yeah. All right, everybody, that's Strike Commando from 1987. Uh, another uh, Red Brown military uh, movie. There's uh, another couple of these. And uh, maybe we can get to, like, Uncommon Valor with Gene Hackman. I, I'm, I'm guessing that movie doesn't hold up <laughs> since it was made around this time. But uh, uh, Red Brown does not disappoint ever. Now, once again, he puts on an A stellar performance. Yeah, I, uh, I gotta say, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm more impressed with him every time we watch a Red Brown. Movie. <laughs> so many more Red Brown movies to come, everyone. Oh yeah, uh, some more. We got a lot of the pipe. Oh yeah, pipe. a lot of stuff coming. A lot of good stuff coming. And once we get Spin hooked up on the uh, the Amazon, then uh, oh man, we have some special treats for you when I get that going. Oh yeah, we got some good stuff coming coming down the pipe soon. Some animated movies, some more Red Brown, and we hope to see you back here again for another commentary track. Thank you all for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. 
and make sure if you are on YouTube, you hit that subscribe button. That way you'll always know when we go put up a new commentary track, when we go live with streaming, anything that we do, you'll get those notifications. Hit that bell. That way you always get and know when we're coming on. So until next time, thank you all and good night. Good night, everybody.